Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Shalom. Today, na Saturday, number 15 day for this month of July 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, Mr. No Koni Lukong. Wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program who they bring wuna the truth, who they bring wuna meaningful information, fact based analysis for help we for worker for this journey to our freedom to the independence of ambazonia good people of ambazonia at home and abroad the bible it rightly say my people die because of lack of knowledge the worst thing you can give to a fool is power someone talk their way some power it be done talk am. for me as i grow up Say Pekin, where he start for fight his papa enemy before he reach maturity. That Pekin he no go live long. Pekin, where he start for fight his papa he enemy them before he reach maturity. That Pekin he no go ever live for inherit his pa. They no go allow a to receive the inheritance them for his pa. That one na the panabo for this today podcast. My fellow Ambazonians, our soldier them. They don't commit sacrilege. They don't born near John Fundy, a house we there for Baba One. As a leader, as somebody where he be responsible for this our struggle, Una listen for me, Una listen for me very carefully. I am not just an activist. From the beginning of this struggle, whether it is to help when Mancho BBC were running around or to help the first victims. Of this struggle with us here in china gathering money to send people right in bamenda center hospital in kumba in boya to fight for the first victims of this war seven years ago when some soya bb killed will not be wait for join any organization for gather money for senam for rescue a woman will the republic be that mean and say they go kill them make no person in no wake up testify against them for which way they don't do one when all we be agree as the leader them tasan we fred they be come out talk to me them ban school they me all school is stop will not be wait for join organization for begin convince students them make them sabotage their own school because the one way their papa they be get money for send them for boarding school they be still send them they be still open their school and will be tear that picking them say when I must stand together with the poor picking the way they go now for day school, where they no fit attend school because of insecurity. Make we not decide for go against our own parents them, we not sabotage our school them. Then all we go go back for house. Now so boarding school they be taken and close. Now so we be convinced our own picking them and sabotage their own school them. Go against their parents them, where they be pay money for government school them, for their own private uh, mission uh, boarding school them. We don't work for this struggle. When it comes, say, me will pick up arms. One will be convincing that the right thing to do. From Manu, all Ambazonians, them, what are you say you come out? They be all stand up for this new generation. The never again generation. For pick up arms. For do things where our culture in nobody ever teach we. For kill. Because we want freedom. We want to restore our dignity. For do the unthinkable. To show the enemy, say we too will fight back for gain that respect and restore the dignity of the Anglophones. We embrace the Ambazonian flag in our zeal for look for freedom and our own identity. We embrace that which we identify with, that which is ours, the Ambazonian flag. We sing the national anthem without asking a question, even when it was different from the anthem that we learned from the SCNC. We did not ask questions because we know that it is the right thing to do. We are running from something that is bad. What we saw with Mr. Pobia and his army in 2016, 2017, we shall never forget. History will record that crimes against our people. Gunning down protesters carrying peace plan, using helicopter gunship, we will never forget. But today, my fellow Ambazonians, a few radicals 
have transformed our struggle into something that the vast majority of our people cannot recognize. They have misled our people, brainwashed our people. As a leader, my only objective is to attend victory, is to attend progress for our people at all costs, even at my own personal cost, putting even my own life on the line. I am willing to die for my country to make sure that our people see victory. But I'm not willing to sacrifice my country, to sacrifice my people for my own personal ambitions and my own ego and my own vision. The issue for Ni John Fundi, now the issue where he then define the problem who get them from Ambazonia. When you get people, them a bunch of people who cannot distinguish between Ni John Fundi and Atanganji Paul, then we are a we are in deep shit. We have a big problem. When a Pekin, in your own anger, you commit sacrilege. In your own loss, you commit a taboo. You have brought a curse upon the whole village. This is what you should know. Ni John Fundi have failed Ambazonians. The expectation of all Ambazonians was that Fundi would seize the occasion of the day to declare his allegiance to the Ambazonian cause for freedom and call for separation because that is what the people that form the basis of the SDF, the Ambazonian or the Anglophones would have expected somebody who have become prominent because of them to do. He failed to support separation in favor of federalism. John Fundy also became a corrupt politician that squandered millions of money meant for the SDF while those who work under him lavish in poverty monies donated to the sdf disappeared so fundi is a corrupt person he became a corrupt person nevertheless that does not make him a traitor when you don't know the difference between somebody who have failed you and your enemy you becomes a problem even to yourself when you treat those who sympathize with you in the same way you treat those who are your enemy, those who are fighting you, you have simply sent a message out there that you are a danger even to your friends. You have made your friends to deal with that danger while they can to join the enemy. You have not helped yourself. You have shoot yourself on your foot. We should know that John Fundy is an icon for all Anglophones, all Southern Cameroonians, all West Cameroonians, all Ambazonians, even all Africans. John Fundy stood up when nobody had the courage, when the elites around him could not pick the courage with Abed Mukong, Professor Carson Anyangwe, and all those who were educated were afraid to stand up and lead the democratic process, the SDF. Fundi stood up to take the leadership and establish the SDF. He fought for us when the gendarmes would use bullets. Fundi would stand in front of the crowd. He refused bribery. The first Ambazonians who demonstrated to the whole Cameroon that people can reject bribery and corruption. He refused it. He was shot a thousand times on the street because of the people. We will never forget the sacrifices done by this man. It is not that we don't know. We have arrested John Fundy. He has confessed how he became an enabler in the hands of Pobia and how he surrendered because of his fraud with the Munas. The Cameroon agents, I have narrated this story because Fundy has told me himself how he was set up by some ex gendarme who came in to pretend to be one of the vanguard and committed murder and he was at the verge to go to prison for life imprisonment in the hands of Pobia. That is why he surrendered and shook the hand of Pobia because he knows as a political leader, there was no more progress the SDF could do. Fundi at the last stage of his political career was burning down his last candles, but he is no traitor. We should know that when you say somebody is a traitor, you should even at least know the meaning of that word traitor fundi never said that he was an he was somebody who stood for independence or separation in the first place i attended the first first october rally in 1990 
I went there following Mbinglo Tiger. And we went there. The Cameroon military had blocked all town in Babenda. We went to the grandstand. And I stood there to watch Fundi. After all the SCNC leaders have come up to speak about freedom. They could not have a rally in Bamenda. In 1990, the Cameroon government would not allow. But Frundi brought in everybody in the grandstand. And he said that he does not stand for separation because he has an obligation to the party that he has registered and the agenda of that party. But he gave the platform for the SCNC to be able to speak nationalist messages. 1st of October. 1990 in Bamenda Grandstand I was there as a child when this struggle started when Cameroon banned the consortium and banned all political rallies and our people were frustrated even the Bensikin people could not go out there to challenge the Cameroon military John Fundy called all his parliamentarians including Honorable Weber to rally themselves in Bamenda putting up even Cameroon flag on their chest and led a protest for Ambazonia in the middle of Bamenda, Liberty Square, Komisha Avenue, when Pobia had suppressed the Ambazonian uprising in Boya to cover up the torture of our students in Boya. Fundi came over with Honorable Weber, Mbandam, and all the patrons of the SDF, and they used their authority in La Republic du Cameroon to march and rally our people in Boya against Paul Bia. Paul Bia could not do anything against those he has coronated as parliamentarians. Frundi used that authority and that power to allow our people and enable them to make the biggest rally till date in Boya. And the podium was used to advance the cause for the Anglophone man. The call for the respect of the right of the Anglophone man. That right includes the right of self-determination. When the people of Pinyin were slaughtered and nobody could speak in a manner which the international community could pay attention to, it was Fundi who came to Pinyin after the Pinyin massacre and said that this was done by Atanganji Paul. The word Atanganji boys was coined by John Fundi. Anybody who says that Fundi did not support this struggle simply because he did not support separation, that person have lost his bearings. If you can forget the good things that your friends or sympathizers do for you, then you can never even win a war. Remember that America, when they were fighting for their independence, Thibaut Nagy, who have spent his time to fight for us and speak for us, have told us to remember that vast majority of America, Americans during their fight for independence supported the British the vast majority of them, but they know what they could gain if America was free. They were never targeted. We have gone to mediation upon mediation, capacity building. Our struggle have been privileged to be invited even in Cambodia by mediators without borders, where we met the people of Aceh, who fight against the Indonesian government without, with, against every oath. They tell us every day how even ministers in Indonesia Way from Aceh will support their struggle, will buy arms. Even their parliamentarians in that parliament were still fighting for them. They had trust. They saw them as fighting for their freedom. Today, we have seen everybody as an enemy because some few hardliners, few radicals, radicals to foolishness, have turned the struggle into something else. When you start telling our people that even civil servants, because somebody have a member in their family who is a Cameroon military man, then that man is an enemy. Even when you don't know that that man sympathizes with you, you have simply sent a message out there, a signal out there to that person that you have become a danger. And that person will actively act on that fear to protect themselves and do everything to undermine what we are fighting for. Even when that person was a potential even help to you. This burning of the house of John Frundi will make even the Francophones to laugh at us. What a foolish thing to do. We will become a mockery. The reputation that John Frundi has with the international community, the friendship he has developed. The only Cameroonians that was invited 
to attend the coronation of Bill Clinton. That is somebody who still have respect even in the White House till today. You go and burn the house of such a person. How do you think the international community would look at you? They would look at you like a terrorist. They would look at you like an extremist. Somebody who have lost all sense of reasoning. John Fundy belongs to us Ambazonians. He belongs to us Anglophones. What he has done have made him to be bigger than life itself. In all the five big factions in the Ambazonian struggle, all of them have put out messages that pays tribute and recognizes the contribution in our political development by John Fundy. He was the first one who rose up and shattered the glass ceiling that allowed all of us to be able to speak with boldness, without fear or favor. Yes, John Fundy let us down. Yes, John Fundy did not live up to our expectation, but that does not make him a traitor. When you start calling everybody a traitor, it shows that you lack understanding. When everybody would disagree with you, the only thing you can accuse them is that they have received money for La Republic. It's because you yourself, you are the most corrupt person. Maybe that is what you desire the most. Because when you accuse people of something that you have no evidence or indication of, it shows that that is the thing that comes from you. You are simply reflecting on others what you wish for yourself. Oh, what a curse. A group of 15 people called the Egg of Sea who specialize in Facebook reposting have destroyed this struggle. Not only have you destroyed the only chance we had for a negotiated settlement in Canada, you have transformed our soldiers into fools. And Dr. Cho Ayaba, who is not bold enough to come and take responsibility for what he has pushed the ADF to do, have come out to put out a statement. He says, you stand against Ambazonia in life and we will impose a high cost on you and your family in death. Executive order. <laughs> what a joke. What a shame. You are even afraid to take responsibility for what you have instigated. You want to put a price on John Fundy and his family? Is this what you have turned this struggle into? That's why you wanted to go against Capo Daniel and his family? You attack the family members of those who have different opinion as you. Are you not worse than Paul Bia? And the foolish fighters who went and attacked and burned this isolated compound of John Fundy in Baba, they come out to say that they, they are very happy, coming back from the mission, very happy. When Tok and Do is there in Bui, attacking La Republic du Cameroon Post, this is what you call fighting for Ambazonia. You are fighting against Ambazonia. Anybody where you don't know no common sense, common sense talk say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Now, common sense that all the SDF, people the way they don't be against Ambazonia, they don't be actively against Ambazonia, our sympathizers, even those where they work for La Republic, where some of them, they live for Cameroon Army, now civil servant them. Those are our friends because all of them are against Paul Bia. Now, we we'll make Paul Bia and become stronger. Now, we we'll make Paul Bia. Una de help Pobia na una de fight against na una de fight against Ambazonia. When you are turning everybody against Ambazonia and pushing them towards Pobia, you are fighting against Ambazonia. You are the real Ambazonian enemy. You are the real agent of La Republic. To be strong, no be for those can show so you get power for show your chest for as I say you get power. No be for show strongness that man way be strong. Strong soldier no be the one way to walk for inside bullet with your chest open. No. Strong na sense. If you get power away, you no know, get sense. You go become a problem even to yourself. When I look how Chinese people then we weak. When I look the city the way they don't build them. When I go feel say we black man will talk so we strong past them because we get physical power. They will see your strength now according to which way you feel build them. Your strength no be the power where you get no be ngum. Ngum na foolishness. If you know if show something we don't do and we don't ngum. If you are about show you don't want to show your own power, now will become a radical. Send people to me and go burn John from the house. Then you yourself, you don't become like the enemy for Ambazonia. Your activity have become the enemy number one. The reason why we can lose this war because you have transformed all our friends, all our sympathizers, into allies of Paul Bia. When you you engineer people to think that 
honoring Fundi and paying respect to Fundi is treason to Ambazonia. Paul Bia, who is the enemy of Ambazonia, Paul Bia is the enemy number one of John Fundi. In case you don't know, when the Francophones and the international community will see that it is instead the Fundi, the Paul Bia, who is, who is somehow reasonable to bury the Fundi with honor, who do you think they will see as a madman? When you deceive soldiers to tell them that Ambazonians who are civil servants are their enemies, and then you see soldiers going to kill somebody who is a crippled person for making Cameroon ID card, for helping people to make ID card, when our soldiers themselves are using Cameroon ID card, who are you making to be stupid? You are the one destroying this struggle when you take out common sense and reasoning simply because of what? Not because you are strong, but simply because of relevance. You are so power drunk that you accept any type of stupidity from soldiers so long as it will give you some relevance amongst fighters. Because for you, you think that that is the power that matters the most. Ambazonians should know that re paying respect to Frundi, allowing Frundi to be buried in Bamenda, is a big boast to Ambazonians. It is the thing that is going to bring the moderates back to us, those who have been isolated. In every way, it is this type of stupidity that have isolated the majority of our people. Ambazonian fighters are being seen as threat to the vast majority of our people because of this stupidity. Anybody who does not know how to make the enemies of our enemy to become our friend, that person does not know how to win a war. That person has lost the war. That is the person who has made us to lose this war. When you are there converting all our sympathizers into our enemies, Remember that the Americans this year, they did not even put out a message for refugees, our refugees in Nigeria. They did not even put out a message for them anymore. Think about it. Think about what you people have done. Journalists in Bamenda, all pigeon journalists, they are the ones telling us where La Republic, they are, are checkpoint and they. No be a mockery for our soldier them. They tell us in La Republic, the place that Mona go attack and they want them. They show na people, they go attack them. Because they ran lost, una, una ran lost focus. La Republic na they advise una now, una no even know. They give una foolish advice them, make una implement them for make a fool of ourselves. Una ran become the biggest problem for this struggle. The good news for Ambazonians, na say the people them for the egg of sea. Na 15 man group, where then they for Facebook, then specialize to repost, rebrand, making nice pictures and stickers. It ends there. That is the good news. And the few soldiers who have been influenced in this stupidity, you are alone each time you cross the bound and do a sacrilege. The curse you have brought upon Ambazonia will come back only on your head. Ambazonians must be allowed to pay their respect to John Fundy. That is the thing that will benefit our struggle. Those who do not understand this have lost their bearings. If you don't know the difference between Atanji Paul and John Fundy, then you don't have any place in this struggle. And if somebody like that or people like that somehow dominates this, our struggle, then our struggle will have no way to go. Absolutely no way. This is the delusional people who have blundered in Canada. The chance that this struggle could have finished. Finished. We could have been now in negotiation talking about the solution. Addressing the root causes in a platform that we had dreamt for. Because of your foolishness. Because of this stupidity. Ambazonians are scratching their head. And the whole world is laughing at us. And your few 15 followers on Facebook. Who just want a sense of belonging. They don't even know. But the day will come when they will realize themselves the damage you have done to our struggle and our prospect to free ourselves. Ambazonians must know that we must rally ourselves around rational thinking for us to have our victory. Abandon this stupidity and hardliners who have no brain, who are delay, de delaying and delaying a legitimate cause. Those who stand for freedom are more than those who are stupid. Those who stand for freedom 
are more than those who are stupid. We will not allow Paul Bia to steal the glory of Ambazonia in John Fundi. Our people will not allow the barrier of Fundi to become something that is going to give political capital to Paul Bia. We will allow people to pay their last respect to John Fundi. And for the few soldiers who have been misled, remember Amigo, one of the best soldiers we had. Remember General Chacha, one of the best soldiers we have. How they were useless by people who were seeking for political relevance and manipulate them to their early death. Do not carry a curse upon your head. And this curse will not be upon Ambazonia so long as I live. Those who have burned the house of John Fundi, you have brought a curse upon yourself. Those who support them, those who try to denigrate, you don't even know your own icon. Do you think that those that the Americans celebrate, those that the British, the French, they celebrate, were people who were perfect, were not corrupt? We cannot celebrate the failures of John Fundi, but the wise people will hold on to that which can bolster their own image, that which can build them up. As common sense will say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ambazonians, never you lost this logic. Never you lost your sanity. Because when you do, in law, there is no excuse for ignorance. You will drive yourself to your early grief. Or those who hold such ideologies will drive us all to our early grief if those of us who think do not stand up or speak up. God bless you all. Capo Daniel signing off.